I'm going to show you how to use the dynamic cell model kit to model an animal cell and in this case it's a cheek cell. So I'll show you how to make the wet mountain in another video but here is a live view of a cheek cell and when I take a still image of it um, you can see that the cheek cell which has been stained with methylene blue you can see the nucleus and that it's covered in bacteria this particular cheek cell. So now I'm going to use this cell in order to create a model for you. Now let's go ahead and model the cheek cell that we saw in the microscope. For that we'll need a membrane, not a cell wall, but a membrane. And this membrane, now I can bend it, I can pretend to be the cytoskeleton and be responsible for creating the shape of this cell. There was a kink up here or down there for your perspective. And there was a nucleus pretty much in the middle. You'll notice that the chromatin is stained blue. That's because that's what gets stained with the methylene blue. Now, there were a bunch of bacteria that were also visible with this cheek cell. However, this is the complete model of the cheek cell uh, because bacteria are separate cells. When students go to model this, they'll probably stick a whole bunch of bacteria in this corner because this was really packed with bacteria. They'll probably stick some bacteria up here because there were a bunch of bacteria here. They might separate bacillus and coccus if they can tell where they were. There were a couple of bacteria over here. Actually, there were a lot more over here. And they'll often put the bacteria right inside of the cheek cell. However, bacteria are separate cells. They're their own cells. Therefore, either one needs to take a bacterium and hold it up above the cell, all of them, or an alternative is that you can actually lift the cell membrane and the nucleus to represent the fact that the bacteria are on either the top or the, in this case, the bottom surface of the cell and that's where you're seeing them. They're not inside the cell. It can be a little tricky to do this yourself. That's why this this dynamic cell model kit was designed for your students to use. When you have a whole bunch of students modeling this, it makes it very easy.